Hello everyone and welcome to NCS Extra Credit. I'm Jerry Bailey and Extra Credit is our short video series on different topics in the credit management world, mainly focusing on mechanics liens, UCC filings, and collections. Today we're going to be in the mechanics lien side in the, uh, the construction world and we're going to discuss joint checks. Kristen Snyder has been nice enough to come and help us out. Welcome, Kristen. Thank you, Jerry. Oh, sure, thanks for helping out. Sure. Um, Kristen, joint check agreements are pretty popular in the construction industry. Mm -hmm. Lots of people use them to mitigate risk, maybe in situations where they're not quite comfortable with their customer. Uh, what exactly is a joint check agreement? Jerry, a joint check agreement is an agreement between at least three parties, allowing one party to make payment through a check issued to two or more payees. These type of agreements require the consent of multiple parties, the owner, the GC, the subcontractor, and of course yourself. What are the benefits? The primary benefit of the joint check agreement is the additional security it can provide for a potentially risky situation. When, these, when those above you in the contractual chain are paid, you are more likely to receive payment when you are listed as a joint payee on the check. Whenever possible, obtain a joint check agreement between your customer and the party who hired them. On the flip side, those at the top of the ladder of supply like joint check agreements since they ensure that payments made to their customers are filtering down to the subcontractors and suppliers. Got it. Um, so what information should we have in the joint check agreement? The date of the agreement, the invoices, purchase order or contract, which is to be covered under the agreement, your company name and address, and all parties' names and addresses. You should also include the project name and address to ensure there is no question as to which matter the joint check agreement relates. You will also need to identify who the authorized signers are for each entity, as well as the terms and conditions of the contract. Be sure to include spacing for signatures and include the signer's title. You should also include language which prohibits the altering of said agreement. Are there things we should be aware of or on the lookout for in the agreements? Absolutely. The first thing that comes to mind is the may issue. We have seen agreements that are written that state we may issue a joint check agreement. These agreements are useless and are tough to argue if payment is rendered. A joint check agreement is an added count against the general contractor only if the general contractor has breached the contract by issuing a one-party check. If they issue no check at all, it is not a violation and therefore the attorney would not be able to sue against it. Although jo joint check agreements are a good tool for mitigating risk, there are potential pitfalls. Before entering into a joint check agreement or any contractual agreement, it is always best to have legal counsel review the document and its terms. Okay, lots of great information, thanks. Yes. Thank you. Um, okay, takeaways from this are, one, joint check agreements are very popular. They're a good tool to use to mitigate risk in some cases where you have some discomfort about your customer. Um, they're not a tool to rely on solely, however. They're not a tool to use to, in place of mechanics lien rights. You should not ignore your mechanics lien and bond claim rights. Still make sure you're serving your preliminary notices and protecting those rights. Keep in mind, if no check is ever issued, the joint check agreement doesn't really help us. Make sure you have the correct information in the joint check agreements and be aware of the may issue, where it should not say may issue a joint check agreement. If you need examples of, of uh, joint check agreements, check our online services portal. Um, there is an area in there where you can download an example of one to use um, for those of you that are NCS clients. But thanks again for your help, Kristen. Sure, thank you for having me. If you have any questions, um, please don't be shy. Don't hesitate to contact us at the phone number or the email address listed on this screen. If you have other topics you would enjoy seeing an extra credit video, we would enjoy hearing that too. We like your feedback. But thanks again for attending, everyone. Um, and with that, we'll, we'll conclude. Enjoy your day.